Hello everyone, welcome back to Laser Penguin Games. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Storm Clash Druid on Diablo 2 MAXL Sigma. And let's go ahead and start with the skills. Okay, looks like I have one extra, but <laughs> I'll put it in. So we're going to start with the reward tree where I put four in Symbiosis and maxed out Survival Instinct. And this is going to be for... I guess we're gonna get some physical resist and spell focus. We're not really worried about the cold damage. Okay, and then we're gonna go to our main tree, I guess, for this build, which is gonna be the seer. So we're gonna be putting our point there. Uh, in Ember Spirit, one in Hunting Banshee, one Rain Fire, and then we're gonna max out Pagan Rights for Basically self-heals and elemental spell damage, because we're going to be doing lightning damage. Uh, if we want to guess a different damage type, we have some options here. This is Physical Hurricane, and uh, it's a totally different build, so I'm not going to be uh, taking that. And then, first page just has nothing at all, so no points, and the rest of our stuff's actually going to go into nature to buff our uh, symbiosis. And actually give us some minions as well. So for one in Harvest, I'm going to actually dump 26 in Elven Song, which is going to give us our max 20% uh, avoid. Uh, then Infected Roots is basically the last place I'm putting the points. But I maxed out Barkskin and maxed out Harvesters as well. So this is going to give us our max regen for Symbiosis as well as 5 Harvesters. Because we're a little bit squishy, but with the summons, it's going to help uh, take a lot of the damage away. And then Factor Roots is just going to uh, pump our summons a little bit more as well. Okay, so for stats with this build, pretty much just enough strength to wear the gear. Um, and then you can put a little bit into energy and the rest and vitality. Uh, we don't need a ton as long as you got some mana regen. Uh, you're not going to need a ton of energy, but uh, you can maybe put a little bit more. I like to get some some of my HP up. All right, so for the items, the main three items for this build are going to be Force Defender, which are antlers. It's a Druid only helmet, and this is going to give 18 Storm Clash. I think some of these items have a, a variation of. The amount of skills you can get, but it'll give at least a certain base because we're trying. We're going to be trying to get to 75s um, plus 75 to storm clash because this is going to give us an extra three lightning spears. And you can see mine's level 82, so when we fire it, it's going to fire four spears instead of the one. Uh, our weapon is air and nexus. It's another storm clash item, so. Yeah, and you'll see here we're going to end up stacking a lot of spell focus for this. So I have Gal runes in the weapon, and the rest is pretty much um, Zod jewels trying to get spell focus with some extra spell damage and whatever other stats. The third item for the build is going to be North Tragic's Wisdom Belt, and this is again, it's going to give us some more Storm Clash, getting us, I guess, close to. 60 already uh, skills, so as long as you can make up the rest uh, through other items. I've been using uh, Hide a Basilisk, it's just generally good for all lightning builds. And then I put in a few Yules, I think my Pierce is 150 something right now. But you can switch out a few Jewels if you need more. So we got those, I am using. Black Dwarf Amulet for Pierce and Spell Damage. And it gives us Supernova, which is our lightning skill as well, so we can kind of cast that if we want to offer funds. <laughs> okay, gloves I'm using here. Lama no Troyathy. I probably butchered that, but uh, give us what we need. We need, we want more spell focus, uh, more skills, and then more lightning damage. Just using some rare rings. This one's probably not the best for this, but 
Uh, looking for also lightning damage, spell focus, and one all skills, and then whatever else you can get. And then boots, there's a, there's a lot of good options here. I kind of just put on some crafted ones for now that aren't maybe the best for this, but they work. <laughs> they, I used uh, ornate shrines to, uh, to make them and uh, made sure they got some good movement speed. I use the jewels for those. All right. Obviously, offhand, we're just using Shermanga for extra spell damage as well. And we're going to go ahead and just run around pots a little bit, I guess. <laughs> Show this off. Okay, so I'm going to buff up here my harvesters. Let's go ahead and I only have like about 0.6 mana. I'm close to 18k HP. But definitely could get that up more. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's just head towards uh, any one of the any bosses. Let's see here, I kind of just. I mean, I definitely have a lot of faster cast rate. Make sure that's capped out. Uh, and then, uh, you can see that's what I added to to the staff. I think I'm over at this point because <laughs> I have a bunch of jewels that have it on it. Harvesters don't have a lot of HP because I'm not a summoner build, but they're enough to absorb some of the damage and then. We got some reanimates as well. Best thing is to kind of oh, in fots anyway. I like to see if I can get a lot of mobs together and not die. <laughs> oh, does something fall off? Oh, the buff I get from the uh, harvesters. This this build is like a really good AOE. Let's see if I can. Pile them all up like that, they just all melt. <laughs> Grr. Get lightning. A nice option for the druid build because the skill tree does not provide any lightning spells. We do have uh, mythal or extra pierce as well, um, but. Just don't even. <laughs> I know it's, if you're gonna go to labs or something too, it's just like the curses aren't gonna work in higher labs, so I just try to not even bother, especially since I already have 150 anyway. Different bosses might work. Let's go, let's go up this way and maybe we'll go for the cross. Here, my mana is draining quickly, but I got enough regen. Yep. Having too many problems. That doesn't cost that much. <laughs> they just ran. <laughs> they flew right into me and exploded. I think there is a Amazon uh, build for Storm Clash as well, which has a shield instead of the staff. Also, you don't get the helmet either, so it's gonna be a bit tougher to get to the 75 uh, skill ups, but you can probably do it. You can definitely see here; it doesn't really pierce, like, so any any impact will just explode, <laughs> which is kind of good though because <laughs> then the rest of them uh, run into it. If you hit the guy in the front, then the rest will kind of run into it. here. Hmm. Alright, I should get my summons up for a crossover then. I summon over there. Are you gonna let me? Alright, let's just tell you over. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, 
Oh, they were all bunched up. <laughs> Come here, ready, boss. Don't you run away. No, you don't you run. I'm gonna melt you. I'm melting. <laughs> I'm melting. Maybe I'll go kill the dragon real quick, too. You can see how it doesn't. Done, Craig? Up like that in the doorway. <laughs> so good. Alright, people coming through. A little supernova action. Surprise how fast the uh, these guys smell so <laughs> since me. They try to absorb, but then they don't really much pierce for them to absorb. They just melt. Well, we can clear the portal. Out of the way, necrobots. Time for your shenanigans right now. Gotta get some harvesters out here before we go in. Maybe we can. I don't think I. Should, I should, well, I could probably do it in the time to get the. Here. Let's see if we can go right to it. Oh, dying. As long as I don't get a big lag bike like that. <laughs> so it thinks that I'm somewhere else on the screen. That I am not. <laughs> hey. Afternoon. Only if it do if you don't though, it's not not so bad. I yeah, just I didn't make a portal. Oh wow! Look at that spike. Look at that leg spike too. It shouldn't even be that bad. <laughs> Just ship me on decent servers. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, free is free. <laughs> so, <laughs> that would have been pretty frustrating in a high lab. I'll probably make a portal so that. It does it again, at least I <laughs> to run back so much. And there we go. I think I could have put it inside. Where am I? So if I if I did that, am I actually here? Am I not am I, am I here? Am I not here? I don't th I think I'm not where I think I am again. <laughs> I'm gonna teleport again just to make sure. Really have to summon much here. If if they teleport onto me, the AOE damage is pretty brutal for them. Don't panic. Two hours until restart. No. <laughs> How dare you? All right, dragon. I know you're here. I'm not even really aiming. <laughs> just because <laughs> they they just teleport on you anyway, and you just hit them. Look at look at this. I, where am I? I don't even know what what <laughs> what the what? Oh, the dragon's already dead. But I'm not gonna upgrade that claw. <laughs> ooh, 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 that's a pretty ugly one. <laughs> well. <laughs> 
I'm actually surprised uh, how effective this build is. Uh, it's actually pretty fun to play too. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Hello everyone who made it to the end of the video. This is Laser Pan Games, reminding you to smash that like button, leave a comment below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps out. And if you're looking for even more content, check out my Patreon here, where I post exclusive video content every month, and you'll have access to all of that.